So I finished coloring it and it looks a little bit antique but this is not how we are actually going to be doing it because we are going to be placing these beautiful flowers on top of them and I'm going to be teaching you how to make them now. So the second step is to make the flower and for that first you will need a circle with out of colored paper like this one. Then you will need a piece of paper or a piece of colored paper like this. Yes, and then fold it to make many flowers and now we are going to be drawing a petal over here. So we are going to leave space for the for gluing to happen and then we're just going to be drawing a petal. this one and now we're gonna be cutting it out so I cut the petals out and when you cut it out it will look something like this and to make it 3d just keep all of the petals in a stack and then take a pencil and curve it like this now it's glue time so on the circle We'll keep glue around and, and then slowly start keeping the petals. Look, it's ready, isn't it beautiful? So now since I've finished it, gather all of your flowers that you made. And now it's time for the third step. So now it is time for the third step, which is to make leaves for the flowers. And to make the leaves, you will need a green paper like this, and then fold it in half, and then draw half of a leaf. make some designs on my leaf so I'm just going to be drawing like this now I'm gonna be cutting it out so I cut the leaves out and when you cut them out they will look something like this and I want to make my leaves a little bit realistic so I just drew some simple lines So now I have finished, finished the flowers, the leaves, and the base. Now it is time for the fourth step, which is first you have to make 14 hearts since I have seven tops on my base. And on each of those 14 hearts, write encouraging or motivational messages is on one of the sides and then and simply take glue 
and add it to the blank slide I messed up over here. Here, here and then just add glue over here like this. And then take a toothpick like this one and then keep it on top like that. And then take the other heart and then take another heart with another message and then glue it on top. Make sure to press the sides very well. So now I'm done with the seven hearts and on the top and bottom they have messages. Now it is glue time. So let's glue all of these perfectly on here. So as you can see, I finished gluing the flowers in and as you can see, it looks beautiful. Now it's time for the final step, which is to take these hearts and simply make a hole on the top of the base and keep the stick in. To make sure that the sticks are secure, you can use hot glue or super glue to make sure, but you don't have to. And you can keep it on a tea table, a dining table, wherever you want, but I'm going to keep it on my showcase because my sister will obviously ruin it. Showcase that I made.